Welcome to Chapter 5, Environmental Resources, Air Quality, and Environmental Justice. Transportation project impact analysis on communities and the natural environment is an element of project development, environmental documentation, and design. As the State of Delaware's Transportation Agency, DelDOT is committed to ensuring environmental impacts are considered when planning and constructing transportation projects in Kent County. The 2019 DelDOT Long Range Transportation Plan, Innovation in Motion, includes environmental stewardship as one of its 10 goals. This goal calls for DelDOT to protect and enhance the environment through sustainable best practices, integration of environmental considerations into planning and design, and responsible energy consumption. The Dover-Kent MPO further leverages environmental considerations included in long-range and comprehensive planning efforts by our state, regional, and local MPO partners when considering and prioritizing transportation projects in Kent County. These plans offer conservation, natural, and environmental resource summaries in Chapter 5 of both comprehensive plans. The summaries include topography, soil types, water resources, hydrology, woodland habitat, coastal zone, flooding, climate change, agricultural lands, and air quality. This chapter summarizes the steps the Dover-Kent MPO uses to consider environmental impacts for the Innovation 2045 MTP transportation projects. It also reviews the federal and state regulatory agency consultation efforts relative to this NP MTP. Recognizing environmental compliance challenges at the earliest stage of transportation planning can avoid or mitigate undesirable environmental impacts on transportation projects. This approach helps reduce the risks that are inherent in an uncertain planning process that helps prevent the expenditure of unnecessary time and resources. Welcome to the Chapter 5 Preview. Enjoy. Environmental Analysis while land use decisions are decided at the local, county, and municipal levels, transportation infrastructure, construction, maintenance, and service is mostly a state responsibility. This diagram provides a snapshot of how comprehensive plans and comprehensive plan transportation projects have an environmental review. Lower left-hand corner shows local government's comprehensive plans being developed and submitted to the Office of State Planning and Coordination. State agencies such as DENREC and DELDOT review comprehensive plans to ensure compliance with environmental and transportation requirements. While comprehensive plans provide acknowledgement of environmental analysis, additional guidance regarding projects that may require a more detailed environmental review is provided by DENREC. For example, local comprehensive plans should address environmental impacts that may result from future growth scenarios. These future growth scenarios often include transportation projects that DelDOT evaluates against its long-range transportation plan. Once the comprehensive plan meets the Office of State Planning and Coordination requirements, it is forwarded to the governor for certification and then sent back to the local government. The local comprehensive plans used to make land use decisions. Air quality. The integration of transportation and air quality planning is intended to ensure the transportation plans, programs, and projects will not cause or contribute to any new violation of any applicable national ambient air quality standards. Two, to increase the frequency or severity of any existing violation of any applicable national ambient air quality standards. Or three, delay timely attainment of any applicable national ambient air quality standards, any required interim emissions reductions, or other national ambient air quality standard milestones. The Clean Air Act requires the EPA to set national ambient air quality standard designations for pollutants considered harmful to public health and the environment. The Innovation 2045 MTP must demonstrate that the projects support the attainment of national ambient air quality standards and conform to the state implementation plan for air quality. In other words, the MTP projects, when considered collectively, need to contribute to the air quality improvement goals embodied in the Clean Air Act Amendment of 1990. To document this process, 
Deldoc consultants perform a series of tests with computer models that estimate air pollution levels from mobile sources over the next 25 years. Once the Dover-Kent MPO finds that the plan meets the regional air quality goals, federal agencies certify that the plan is in conformity. In other words, the Dover-Kent MPO ensures that its MTP conforms to air quality improvement goals. Environmental Justice Environmental justice is a process that ensures minority and low-income communities do not bear more than their share of environmental burdens. Historically, residents living within communities that face disproportionately negative impacts from transportation projects, regulations, or activities are often minorities or people of lower income status. Furthermore, these residents and communities have often been excluded from transportation policy settings or decision-making processes. On November 2, 2016, the Dover-Kent MPO adopted the Title VI Environmental Justice Statement. It was the first time the Dover-Kent MPO formally adopted environmental justice principles, integrating three fundamental EJ principles into transportation planning. To avoid minimize or mitigate disproportionately high and adverse human health and environmental effects, including social and economic impacts on minority populations and low-income populations. To ensure the full and fair participation by all potentially affected communities in the transportation decision-making process. And to prevent the denial of, reduction in, or significant delay in the receipt of benefits by minority and in low-income populations. As part of the Innovation 2045 MTP update, EJ principles were among the 10 screening criteria used when considering transportation projects in Kent County. The screening criteria assesses transportation projects under the following three EJ aspects. Impact on the public, project will have a detrimental impact on any member of a community such as caused by a major road construction reconstruction project. Social disruption. The project avoids identified areas of racial concentration, minority populations, as defined in the Title VI plan. And economic justice. The project is compared with areas of low income concentration as identified in the Title VI plan. In addition to the natural, cultural, and environmental mitigation efforts mentioned above, DelDOT and the Dover-Kent MPO are committed to using extra efforts to involve minority, low-income, and dis disabled individuals and communities in the transportation planning process. Finally, transportation projects will receive additional selection value if the project provides additional lower cost transportation options to increase mobilities for members in these communities. You can see all the federal mandates and regulations inside the draft chapter 5 on our website. We invite you to offer any comments or suggestions regarding this and all of the draft chapters of Innovation 2045. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.